Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a get ready with me on this look I'm wearing right now. I'm going through a lot of subjects, so I really hope you are going to enjoy. It is a very, very fall inspired look. I'm not digging into one shade in 10 different palettes. I really try to keep it very simple. So I really hope you enjoy this video. And if you want to see how I did this look, please keep on watching. So a few of you requested some fall looks, so that is kind of what I am going to do today. I'm going to get ready to go into town with my boyfriend when he comes back from work. So I thought why not do a get ready with me. I finally feel a bit like myself again. So I'm taking my Soeva eye primer. At the moment I'm starting with my eyes and that's mostly because I don't want to have any fallout that is going in my face and then I'm going to set it with a powder. I'm taking my C palette and I think I'm going in with this white shade. I actually tried to pan this year. Then I'm going in with my Maybelline color to do in On and On Bronze. It's such a pretty color here for fall. It's just the perfect bronze shade and I love it for almost every eye look I do. Usually I use a brush with my colors but none of my concealer brushes I used to use it with is clean so I'm just going to use my finger today. Taking my crease brush and then digging into this Catrice single it's a very light taupe color that I love for my crease and just as a base. I'm going to blend out my color to with that color. I uploaded a few videos this weekend and told you guys I wasn't really feeling myself because I have been sick a lot last week and that's true. <laughs> when I'm sick my mind is kind of confused and can't really talk and can't really think probably. So that is what's going on basically. In school I'm studying for marketing management and right now we are going to apply for internships and that has been really really hard because there's a lot that is applying for internship right now so it's very very hard to find an internship. I have been to one interview already but they turned me down and then I got a new one the last week and I will hear more this week. It's ongoing and it's very very stressful so I can't really do that much <laughs> other than think about that. So that's what has been going on in my mind the last few weeks. I'm going in with my crease shade and I'm going to use my NYX cord in color Raya and I'm going to take this shade right here. So one of the things I hate about <laughs> living in this tiny tiny flat is that I don't have a proper setup for my videos. And I just really, really hate it because right now I'm in my bedroom. I don't have any table to put my things on and stuff like that. So I'm just really annoyed. I just really, really want to sit at my makeup table and do my makeup. My camera and my lights can't be behind my table. Then I'm going in with my Makeup Geek Morocco. This one and going in my crease with that one as well. That is very, very pigmented, so I'm not going to use that much. And then I'm going in with my Makeup Geek Cosmopolitan, this middle shade, and I'm going to put that on my eyelid. It's so pretty. It's like a golden color, but with orange and red undertones. It's so I just love it with these orange crease shades. And then I'm going to blend that out. I want to talk about the things that is going on in the panning community. And that is basically these, oh, your makeup is going bad. Your makeup is old videos. And firstly, I was like, that's so cool. You can check when it's manufactured. But then again, I thought, I don't really have any old stuff. My oldest products was my Panda palette I did this year and that was so old. Otherwise, I have some products that I bought when I still lived at home and that is five, six years old. But I'm almost done with these products. Yeah, for the past few years I have been panning my old makeup so I already got some use out of them. 
Um, so I'm not really concerned about that in my collection, but I'm on the bandwagon with I don't want to have old makeup in my collection. But at the same time, I'm not really worried because if it doesn't smell bad, if it's still pigmented and if it still performs like when you bought it and if it doesn't have mold on it, it's okay still. I'm going in to this cord again. And I'm taking this burgundy shade here. It's not that dark, but at the same time, it's so beautiful. Oh my god. But yeah, again, I'm not that worried about my collection. Because I haven't seen the big signs of my makeup going bad. And if it's not gone bad, it's okay in my head. Um, next year, I am going to be very, very ambitious with my makeup though. Oh, my makeup use of, you know. I am doing pen a palette, of course. I have chosen what I want to pan. And then I'm going to focus on some other palettes as well. But I'm not including them in my pen a palette updates, if that makes sense. This shadow gives another tone and just like really pretty so yeah my makeup plans for next year is ambitious let me say it like that i'm going to talk about it more in depth in another video oh that was not the sh one i wanted to use oh okay so because i'm that very ambitious next year i'm not that worried about my makeup is going bad Um, i know i have a lot of stuff i decluttered a ton in the spring but then I became a W7 ambassador and then now I have a lot again. And some of the things, honestly, that I got from W7 is not the best. It's okay, I can make it work, but I don't want to own makeup that I need to make it work for me. I want it to work immediately and I want to love it. So I am considering decluttering some stuff and do an end of the year declutter because I know for the fact I have some items that I can get rid of that I know for example my cousins that is learning how to do makeup is going to love so some items is going to their house so they can start building up a collection basically and become small made up makeup addicts <laughs> Um, yeah, I just went in with the orange shade again in my crease just to blend it out. So that is basically done for my eyes and then I will move on to my face. I didn't really use this, but if you want me to use this in another tutorial, maybe a more bold look for fall, I can use this darker colors and stuff like that. So if you want me to do that, please let me know. It is on my list, but if you don't want to see it, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Basically. I'm going in with my Benefit Professional just here on my nose. That is where my pores is the biggest. And then I'm going in with my Benefit Erase Paste just to cancel out my dark circles because they are big right now. Um, I forgot my primer. Is the Benefit Professional that is going to be my primer today. My foundation is my W7 Very Vegan HD Foundation. I have been loving this foundation. Oh, you know what? I almost forgot. I always forget my Benefit Positon, so I'm just going to do that real quick. And then my makeup is just going to sit here on my head. Oh, I just love the flush this thing gives. And I just wet my new Real Technique sponge. It's so orange and pretty. So I'm so excited to use a new one. I put on this headband just because I didn't want all these baby hairs to get into my face. And they are. Oh, this lightning, this foundation looks so dewy. Whoa, that's insane. I think it was last week 
I made this video where I just wrote something in it and wanted to hear what you guys wanted to see from me. And a lot of you came with ideas and I'm so grateful because now I actually know what you guys want from me. And that is basically also why I'm doing this video. I'm very, very happy about that. And some of you wanted me to do empties on this channel as well. Because I do them on my Danish channel because I have always done them on there. So that is just normal for me. And because I want to do them on this channel as well, I'm going to repeat myself in two languages. And I love doing them, don't get me wrong, but I don't really think there is many people that like to repeat themselves too much. I know for a fact when I repeat myself a lot in different videos about a certain product, I'm just like, you don't want to hear about this product again. Okay, <laughs> that always happened to me. Then when I put my concealer on, it's very, very nice here, but in this side, I get too high, so some of my eyeshadow disappears. Oh, I used my NYX HD Studio concealer. I don't want to say that name because it's so long. But I'm going to do empties on this channel now, and I'm tr going to try to do more makeup videos where I put on my makeup, you know, like this one. Um, so let me know if you want to get ready with me or just tutorials where I just talk you through it or a voiceover or where I just put music on. So let me know what you prefer because I'm willing to do it all. It's just not always I have something to talk about in these kind of videos with the chit chat get rid with me. And today I didn't really plan anything Today I didn't really plan anything out to talk about, so maybe that's why I'm a little, I don't know, confused. So I'm really, really excited about Halloween this year. I'm usually not the person that do a lot of it because it's not very common here in Denmark to do Halloween because it's not really a tradition here. We do celebrate it, kind of. It's very, very big in the shops, but for my friends and family, it's not what we have been doing. That's more Christmas. I'm a big Christmas fan, by the way. But this year, I'm going to a Halloween party, and I have never been to a Halloween party before. My boyfriend, John, has a couple of friends hosting this Halloween party, and everyone that is going to come needs to be dressed up. And I'm really, really excited about that. <sighs> So my camera cut me out <laughs> while I was talking. I tried to show you my cooler by Benefit and that I had hit pan a few days ago and I'm really really excited about that because I think I'm going to pan that next year. And then I applied my e.l.f. Conjunct Blush and Bronzer blush here that I'm panning this year. It is such a pretty pretty color because it's nude but it's a darker nude so perfect for fall basically um so that was kind of what i was doing and yeah so for the conversation part i am really really excited for this party because you can dress up and you can look scary or cute or whatever you want for this party i'm going to do my friends makeup the ones who are hosting the party and john and myself's makeup or mine ma my makeup yeah you get me <laughs> you, you know what i mean so i'm really really excited about that i'm going to do my brows now just because i'm weird and don't take it in the right order <laughs> i'm looking so tired today but I'm not going to do anything about it because I am tired. <laughs> I'm just going to fill in my brows very lightly with the Elf Eyebrow Kit in light and just the powder. I'm not feeling the strong brow right now. So my Halloween outfit this year is going to be a scarecrow, I'm pretty sure. I found this picture on Pinterest and I just thought that is so cute and I really really wanted to do it because I really love orange eyeshadow <laughs> and I really love the colors. I didn't want to buy a full outfit um, for something my boyfriend is though. Um, he's much more into that Halloween thing, ghost and stuff like that. I'm not. 
at all. I don't like um, horror movies. I hate those. So yeah, that is also why I'm not doing the uh, project pen based on serial killers. And because I just don't know any other than the Joker. I'm really excited about it because we are going to find my boyfriend's outfit and then the pieces that I need for my outfit. Um, I really want it to be something that I didn't need to spend so much money on and the Scarecrow is a perfect option for that, I think. So that is what we're going to do for Halloween this year. I'm very excited. And they bought a bunch of decoration, Halloween decorations and it's so exciting, it's going to be so awesome. Um, cut off hands, feet, um, skeletons all over the place, ghosts. On Instagram I have talked a lot uh, about me being on a no-buy and I'm going to update on my no-buy every month but do you want to see a video on my channel updating you guys what I have bought and what I haven't bought and, and stuff like that. Um, just a no-buy and my thoughts throughout the month. But do you guys want to see an update or do you just want it on Instagram when I do some posts? Do you, what do you want to see? <laughs> I'm really really confused about this because I love being on a no-buy. I don't need to buy any makeup because I'm getting a package this week from W7 with a bunch of makeup so I don't need one and I will haven't really bought any makeup since July so let's do some eyeliner some mascara and then lips oh highlighter for goodness sake I forgot highlighter I used my Benefit Gimme Brow and now I'm just using a black coal eyeliner I have in my uh, Finished 13 by St. Lucia I just updated you guys on this weekend I'm using a um, eyeliner pencil for this look because it's a bit softer than a liquid liner A bit more everyday appropriate I'm going to touch up the red color in my outer corner a bit because it got lost when I did my foundation, you know. I don't know if you guys would like to wear this look uh, to work. Maybe I wouldn't because of the red shadow. But I really, really like it for, you know, um, everyday fall. <laughs> I'm going in with the orange shade from this NYX Court again. Taking that under my lower lash line. Another thing you guys requested that you wanted to see from me was a q and I have in a long time wanted to do a Q&A but that was on my Danish channel when I didn't do English videos. I requested if they wanted to do a Q&A and I never got an answer. I really want to do a Q&A and I really want people to get to know me but if I don't get any questions it's very hard to do a Q&A. So I'm going to ask you guys if you have any questions for me for a Q&A please let me know down below in the comments so you can like type Q&A and then your question for me and then I will gather them all together and do a video on it so you can get to know me a little bit better. Oh I'm not done with that quad yet. I'm going to take the brown here and put them on my lower lash line as well. And then I went in with my Bomb Joy the Rockstar palette and I went in with this white shade here and put that in my inner corner. I'm not done with it but my camera cut me off again. Yeah, I'm not going I'm not feeling a very strong highlight at the moment. I'm just going to take my setting brush from Real Techniques and just going in with that highlighter from the Bomb palette. Just putting that on my cheekbones. And it has this golden color. And yeah, it might be weird putting a gold highlight and then a white in a corner, but I just really like the effect it gives. So that's what I'm going to do. For an everyday look, I'm using the white highlight just because I want to be different with my makeup. Um, but you can use this highlighter as well in, in the inner corner or the pale champagne shade from this cord if you have that. Yeah, and that monster here in the center of my forehead, I really can't do anything about that. I can try to put some concealer on it. 
Okay, I just took some foundation off. I don't, I, I'm not going to. I'm going to curl my lashes and then put lipstick on. This video is going to be so long. That is crazy. Oh my god, don't you just hate when you do I'm doing so great at not putting it all over my face right now. The mascara. But, of course. Oh my fucking god, it's not my day. Ah! I'm putting on my MAC lipstick in Brave because I love this for every day. It's such a pretty color. It's a pretty mauve nude color. So that is it. I'm not going to do any more about this. Okay, and my hair was tangling into my hair bag. I'm done. I'm, I'm done. That is everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed and if you did please give it a like, subscribe to my channel down below and follow my social media. It will be on the insulate of this video because I have done that now. It's very exciting and I, I hope you enjoyed that format now. This has been a very long video and I have been rambling. There was makeup chaos and stuff like that. So I really hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Remember to put your questions down below for my Q&A. Really hope you want to do that with me. And if you have any video ideas, I would love to know. And yeah, and then I just hope you're doing well until my next video. Bye guys!